Hello everyone, today I'm gonna to show you how to make a cauliflower crusted pizza margarita. This cauliflower crust has such an amazing texture and flavor to it. Like seriously, you guys are not gonna believe how good this is, plus it's low carb. So when you're done eating this, you're not gonna feel that heaviness. Okay, this is done within a few simple steps, so let's get to the recipe. The first thing we're gonna do is grab one head of fresh cauliflower. I'm gonna start by removing the leaves. Then I'm gonna cut it into four quarters and then cut off the stalks. Now I'm gonna start removing small florets. Once I have all my small florets, I'm gonna transfer them into a food processor and start pulsing them. And as you can see, this is the exact texture you want from your cauliflower. It looks like rice. Now I'm gonna transfer the cauliflower into a saucepan. I'm gonna add some water. You don't wanna fill it up too much. Just about that amount right there. And I'm gonna hit it to a medium high heat. Okay, I've been cooking the cauliflower for about 10 minutes, so it's ready to go. I'm gonna turn off the heat. Now I'm gonna transfer the cauliflower into a sieve with a bowl underneath, and I'm gonna let it sit there for a couple minutes so it can drain. Then I'm gonna transfer the cauliflower into a flour sack towel, and I'm gonna start squeezing the liquid. You wanna try and remove as much liquid as possible. Once you have your cauliflower well-drained, transfer it into a clean bowl. Make a well in the middle, add one organic egg and beat it, then add half a teaspoon of dried oregano, half a teaspoon of dried parsley, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, and half a teaspoon of sea salt. Now finally shred in half a cup of queso manchego and start mixing everything together until it's well mixed. Now I'm gonna transfer the mixture into a baking tray lined with parchment paper. I'm gonna get in there with my hands, start pushing down on it, and I'm gonna shape it in the form of a circle. And you want the thickness of this mixture to be around one quarter of an inch. Okay, now we're gonna add our cauliflower crust into a preheated oven. Bacon broil option, 210 degrees Celsius, 425 degrees Fahrenheit, between 30 to 35 minutes. After 34 minutes, I'm gonna take the crust out of the oven. And look how beautiful that came out. That looks perfectly cooked. The cauliflower crust is done and it came out beautifully. Now let's transform this into a pizza margarita. Begin by spreading around your favorite tomato sauce. I'm using a homemade marinara sauce here. You can find the link to my recipe in the description box below or iCard above. And now I'm gonna to top it off with some slices of fresh mozzarella. Okay, I'm putting the pizza back into the oven between 10 to 15 minutes. Now I'm gonna add the pizza to a cutting board and top it off with a couple fresh basil leaves. Okay, I'm gonna cut a slice and let you know how it came out. And look how beautiful that came out. Look at that awesome crust. Here we go, salud. This is so good. I just love pizza margarita. But the star here is the crust. Uh, this cauliflower crust is amazing. It's got a great texture and flavor. You can't even taste the cauliflower, honestly. This is fantastic stuff. You guys are really gonna love this recipe. So while you're making this, I'm gonna go ahead and eat this entire pizza. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, leave me a comment below, and don't forget to subscribe. Until the next time, hasta luego.